is 40-year-old Kim Brady Carriker. He's the man accused and suspected of killing those five people and injuring others. I'm Jason Martinez. And I'm Sheba Russell. He is facing a long list of charges. The district attorney offering an update today on all of that. But first, we want to get to Kelly Rule, the suspect facing a judge for the first time, Kelly. It's Today we spoke with the grandmother of Kimberly, Kim Brady Carriker. She tells me uh, his family is devastated. She personally hasn't spoken with him in two months, but says this was out of character for him. And she has the same question so many others do tonight. Why? The respectful young man with me. A woman who identified herself as 40-year-old Kim Brady Carriker's grandmother spoke with Fox 29 on the condition that we did not show her face or use her name. Her grandson accused of killing five innocent people in a mass shooting Monday night in Kingsessing, according to police. Like herself, she says Carriker's parents are also in shock. He didn't come off like that. You see what I'm saying? They're devastated. They want to know what happened. Why? Same question everybody wants to know in the family. Carriker was arraigned via video conference this morning on 10 sets of charges for 10 victims, the five who were murdered and the others wounded by gunfire or injured during the chaos. He only spoke when answering yes to a few basic questions. Police say Carriker was arrested wearing a ski mask and bulletproof vest, armed with an AR-style rifle and handgun after opening fire, seemingly at random, in the area of 56th and Chester Streets around 8.30 Monday night. Officials say Carriker was convicted of a misdemeanor in 2005 that does not prohibit him from owning a gun, but he was not licensed to carry. Carriker's grandmom says he told her he carried a gun for protection. He said, well, everybody should have one. I told him, no, not my house. I've never seen the gun he had. He just told me he had it. Was he angry about anything? Did he express that he was no, upset about no. anything? See, two months, I haven't seen it for two months, and that was unusual. District Attorney Larry Krasner said a handwritten will dated June 23rd was found at Carriker's home, and people who lived with him told his office it was normal for him to keep guns in the house and wear a vest, but he was becoming more and more agitated recently. This neighbor told Fox 29 Tuesday he met Carriker last week. Home to my career, I met him, you know, but he looked like he was fine. Wasn't nothing wrong with him. Completely normal. He told me he was a town watchman around here, you know, and yeah. He said he was a town watchman. Like, Carriker's grandmother says she never heard that directly from her grandson. That's what I heard from the streets. I'm telling you, it's a whole new ball game. With me, I ain't know none of that stuff. It's a whole new ball game. There was no bail set today for the five murder charges, but bail was set at $1.5 million for each wounded victim and those injured by shattered glass. Carriker's next court date is scheduled for July 24th. Kelly Rule, thank you very much. In Philadelphia.